Welcome back to the For Your Success Podcast. I'm really excited to have you with us here today, whether you're watching on our YouTube channel or listening to the podcast. Um, I've got a good friend here, uh, Colin Yearwood of colinyearwood.com is a coach and a course creator, and he is using a very um, somewhat unique uh, way to promote the courses and the things that he does. And I'm excited to dive into that and bring that to you guys today. So Colin, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Katie, thank you for having me. It's uh, really cool to be here. On the For Your Success podcast, we've talked about lots of different ways of promoting. We've talked about launches. We've talked about email campaigns, but you're doing something a little bit different. Tell us what you're doing to promote your courses and coaching programs right now. So what I focus on is speaking more, doing talks and speeches in other people's community, on their in their Facebook groups, on their business pages, on Instagram pages, or doing interviews as a way to go beyond my current audience and reach more people with a message that I'm excited to share. How does one go about speaking on other people's stages if this is a brand new idea? <laughs> I mean, we most of us are teachers, so we're used to speaking, but we control the environment, right? Tell us more. So it starts with you, right? Uh, first thing I would say, and just from experience, it starts with that working on that inner conversation that creates the fear and the doubt that people would want to hear uh, you speak in their, in, uh, speak to their audience. People would want to actually give you that opportunity. So for me, when I started out, there was a lot of fear and doubt about it and insecurities about it. Uh, but as soon as you realize what you're doing is valuable and bring value, the next step is start to find people you've had relationships with, people you've connected with. And Katie, you're a great example of that. Uh, we've connected at a conference a couple of years ago and we have relationships, a relationship. So that's an easy way to reach out to people and just say, hey, um, this is what I would like to do. What I've done recently is I've made it public on my Facebook profile um, that my goal is to have 100 speeches in 2022. And um, I've been very warmly surprised by how people are willing to help you reach that goal and inviting you for opportunities to share your message. So the first thing is just be working with your on your inner game, that conversation that doesn't support you branching out or going out, out in your out of your comfort zone. And then secondly, I'm um, started looking for the low hanging fruit of number one posting on social media and then asking people, you know, that's actually how this interview came out. Cause I saw that post and I was like, Oh, Colin, you'd be great on the podcast. Let's talk. Um, yeah. And so then looking for the people, you know, that's really a really good point, right? Who do I know who already has a stage and by stage, we mean a podcast, a physical in-person event, a, maybe a mastermind group, um, a TV show, like anybody who's got somewhere that you could be out in front of people with your voice. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Anywhere that you could, you can share your message for me. Um, I've made the bar pretty low. If the person have an audience of two or more, I want to speak to those two people because I believe that what I'm sharing, um, is meant for them. If, if, they decide to show up, that message is meant for them. And I, I'm not making it about me. A lot of times we feel only two people, but if you think about it, two people I don't know actually show up to hear me share something. That's uh, an amazing way of looking at looking at it. I love that. We know that there's, there's power where two or three are gathered, right? And yep. two or three, <laughs> tell two or three more a piece and it, yep. it multiplies very quickly. So reaching yep. out the first- The other cool thing about that, Katie, I'll share, but you know, it allows you to build your confidence. Because we all would love to speak in front of 5,000, 5, a million people, right? On a big, massive stage. But are we actually equipped to show up on a stage like that uh, in an impactful way to make a difference? So speaking to 2 and 10 and 15 prepares you for that every big stage you get a chance to get in front of. So you got to practice. Absolutely. Practice is part of the process of mastery. Yep. We teach in our courses, you know, you don't just create one and then throw it away because only one person signed up. Like you got to go back and tweak it and make it better and practice. And every launch is a practice and every delivery is practice. And similarly in your marketing, you don't always hit homes run, home runs with the marketing, but you don't give up. You got to keep practicing. And I love that you said that every, every audience of two prepares you for the audience of four that allows you to keep getting better and better. And so tell me a little bit about your process of figuring out how to serve those audiences. Are you screening people for audiences that match what you have, or do you go into it saying, who are your people 
How can I help? Like, w tell us more about that conversation. I think this is, I'll share with you a story that I think is just an amazing way how God works, right? So I've had this idea in my heart for a while and I didn't put it out there, but I decided to put it out there maybe on a Wednesday. And I had a talk scheduled, pre-scheduled uh, for the Thursday. I did it. I shared it. I put the message out there. That weekend, my wife said, hey, um, one of our friends have a Bible study group that meets on Sunday morning. She wants us to talk about a process me and her did when we were dating. We actually created, we did goal setting for our dating and goal setting for how we want our marriage to go. And I'm like, I don't want to talk about that, but but does this actually count? Again, towards my talk. And <laughs> I end up, we end up going on there and we had a great time just sharing that message. And it's even better because when we first put it together in April 2021, we said, you know, someday we'd love to teach this in a Bible study. And it showed up. So it wasn't my intention to, to talk on that stage, but it also was an opportunity to share a message that was on my heart. And I, I, I believe God wanted me to share it. Uh, it was my intention just to do these talks for business. Now, I am very open to speaking on any stage. Any stage where any someone that's, of course, that's ethical and aligned with my vision for the world um, shows up, I would love to speak on that shit stage because you don't know who you impact with the message. And um, being selective and trying to cherry pick it and make sure everything is perfect, you may miss a blessing or two. So... Um, I, I don't have a specific agenda. I want to speak with people who are aligned with my vision for the world, people who are cool, doing things in an ethical way, and then have an audience that would uh, feel that I can serve and help. The other thing, too, about that, Katie, is I realize I've had such a varied background and different experiences. I can share on anything from weight loss. I've lost over 100 pounds in 10 years and kept most of it off. I can share about being intentional. You know, like anything that comes, like I've accomplished in my life, I would love to share in, with people about. But my goal when I did this was, hey, I want to speak with um, entrepreneurs, uh, course creators, and people in that business mind space, because that's really, really what I'm focused on and how I'm building my business. And, and that's what's helped me build the life I have. I love that strategy and I love that you're open to speaking on things outside the box because I think that's how the Lord works a lot of times is in those unexpected ways. At a business meeting once had the opportunity to give the gospel to someone in the lobby in between sessions. You know, you don't expect those opportunities to present themselves, but they did. And another time, you know, at a at a Christian Christian meeting event that I was at, I had an opportunity to run into someone who then became a business client, right? And so you just never know how these things are gonna gonna overlap. And I do believe it also shows a part of your your humanness. Um, my friends, Paul and Melissa Pruitt are, were teaching a, a class recently that I attended on, on ads. And they're talking about, it's not just how you show up in your paid advertising, but it's also how you show up in the, the regular posts that you're sharing on social media, because people don't just want to, they just, they don't just want to see the promotions that you've paid to be special and approved and formulaic and what they also want to see like what your life is like, right? Yep. Like, do you, are you a dog person? Do you like to paint? Like those kinds of things, like what's, what's your real life like? And I think that those, you know, like you mentioned your, your dating and marriage experiences that you were able to share, like that lends credibility to you, even in the business space for, for what you're doing, the, the maturity that you bring to it, the, the things you've overcome, all of that makes you you and we can't keep that apart. It's something that the Lord blends into all of who we are. Absolutely. And I think many times we try to keep it apart and that's where the blockages come in. That's why we're not like progressing. And that, that was me, right? I actually tried, no, this is business and this is life and this is what I want them to know. And the more I became comfortable by, you know, I, I use my share, I jokingly say I use my show so made it to share the highlights of my life. And it's a hodgepodge of things, right? This from my run-in to my food pictures. Yes, I still post food pictures. So <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing this week, if I'm promoting, if I'm promoting something in my business, I, I share it. So it's a very, you know, you get a, a good sampling of who I am as a person. And I, I'm a big advocate of being real, right? Um, mm -hmm. There's nothing like, and, and I actually being real, what I find attracts people who want real change. A lot of times people who are looking for perfection, they're 
they're making it harder for themselves. So people usually want people, you know, he, he looks like he knows what he's doing, but he's not that perfect. He's just a little bit ahead of me. I feel comfortable talking to him. And so when you're speaking on these stages, what does the plan look like? Um, tell us more about your thinking or your strategies as you're going in so that it can benefit your business in the end. How do we use this to, to bring people back into our world without it becoming something that, that ostracizes the host of the stage that we're on? First and foremost, I'm very transparent about it. I If I check with the host and if they'd like me to promote what I do, and usually it's a free gift I give away at the end, I'm open to that. If they would not like me to do that, I'm open to that. Here's my belief. If someone sees me on your show, my name is there, and it's in, I like that guy and I don't promote anything, they'll Google me. They'll check on Facebook and they'll connect with me. So I don't come in a, an agenda of, I want this to give me 15 new clients or, you know, no, I just want to, sh I want to share the message and I want to be authentic and real and connect with people. So I set that expectation. I'll just talk. I don't have to promote anything. Uh, the second part of it is usually it's a free gift. I reference people to a tool that will help them. And through that process, if we happen to connect for business, great, but there's really n no bigger agenda about sales or anything like that. I'd love to get people into my community, share my content and, if you buy, you buy. I, I believe um, all my buyers are already pre-assigned to me. I just need to show up and let them know I'm the guy. <laughs> yeah, I love that strategy too. That that idea that I, I this is what I get to do. And whether you pay me or not, I still get to do it. So refreshing to come in with that heart of sales is serving. That's my tag. That's one of the things I like a tag. Like I like sales is serving because I teach selling and I sell a lot of stuff. And I, I, I look at it as an opportunity to serve people on a really high level. Um, free is free serves, but when you pay for stuff, you really committed long-term to making a real change in your situation. So I, I love selling and serving people through that process. And the same with free content. I'm selling and I'm serving, I'm selling me, I'm selling you on a new vision or a new possibility of getting on a hundred stages in the next year. So it's, it's all a matter of um, showing up in a positive way to uh, influence people to make changes in their lives. Yeah. I love that. And so uh, the go for the long hanging fruit, the people that you already know who have platforms that would give you um, new people to reach, look for ways you can serve their audiences, and then finally go into it with a heart of service. I think those are three super easy steps and I'll be excited to follow your journey. Maybe we'll have you back at the end of this year to see how those hundred stages went and what you've learned from that process. I would love to be back. Let me share one other tip is actually create your own stages too. So if you have an email list is do a webinar once a week or every other week and invite that email list to the webinar. Um, it may be five people just email them personally. Hey, I'm doing this on this day. Come and hear me. And two people show up. Great. Um, but you have an opportunity to create your own stage by teaching. And there are a lot of platforms out there. Um, Eventbrite allows you to just post an event. Um, meetup.com allow you to just post your, your event. So you have, you have a chance to create your own stage too, to, um, prepare you for those even bigger stages. Thank you so much. So you guys, as you're listening to this, Colin Yearwood, someone you want to know if you've got courses or higher ticket offers that you're selling, he does have a special gift for us today, uh, 15 discovery call questions to help you and your prospective client figure out if it is a right fit for each other. And you can grab that over at colinyearwood.com. We'll have a link for you in the show notes. And really excited to, to follow this journey, Colin, and see how this, this idea of promoting through speaking on stages is going to go for you and for myself as well. I haven't been quite as ambitious, but we're planning to, to book 50 stages this year. So nice. it'll be interesting to compare notes later on and see. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you so much for having me. I, I'm super excited to uh, do this. I'm very honored that you would trust me in front of your audience. Thanks. Of course. Can't wait to have you back. Cool. All right, you guys, remember your message matters. Somebody out there needs it, whether that's through your course or through stages or through a stage that you create, an opportunity you create to get in front of them. Um, somebody needs to hear what you have and needs to be impacted and fulfilled by the gift that God has given you so they can do what they were created to do in the world. Go out there, share the message. We'll see you again next week.